Hi, River family. This is uh, Nate and Deb uh, coming to you with uh, tonight's teaching. Uh, so we're going to do this a little, di little bit different uh, tonight. Uh, so uh, uh, about a day ago or so, uh, a video was uploaded to the uh, River Fellowship Facebook page, uh, and it was a uh, video recording of a prophecy that Bob Jones made. Okay. And uh, so we want you to uh, do two things. Okay. Number one is go and watch that video. And then number two is once you're done watching that video, we want you to come back to this. Okay. Uh, because we're going to uh, share something real briefly at the end of this that goes along with something he said that I think uh, you guys are just going to be. Uh, I think you guys are going to love. Uh, so real quick, just in case uh, you don't have access to Facebook or something like that, here is the uh, website uh, link that you can just uh, uh, type into uh, your web browser and go see the video. Okay. So what I want you to do is uh, be ready to stop this video here. Go watch that uh, Bob Jones video on the River Facebook page. And then come right back because we've got something cool to show you. All right, so here's what uh, we thought was cool enough uh, to show you. So one of the things that um, Bob Jones talked about was the importance of uh, building uh, barns to um, to collect the harvest in, to have the barns ready so that when the harvest time came that you would be able to have something to hold the harvest in. So uh, I, Deb and I and a bunch of people just uh, thought that this was kind of neat. So uh, what this is, is a picture of uh, the land uh, that the river has uh, purchased or that members of the river, river purchased and um, land that's kind of near it, okay? We have purchased this, that is way too big. We have purchased uh, this track right here. Okay, so here's uh, what we uh, wanted to show you. I think it just happened that the survey map that we got for this just kind of looked like this. Okay, so what I want you to see is what happens if you take that picture and rotate it like this. Okay. It stinking looks like a barn, okay? And uh, here it is just kind of uh, shown to you in a little bit different uh, thing here. And, you know, man, when, when I saw this, I know that uh, I and a bunch of other people really started thanking the Lord. You know, we've got this part. But we started thanking the Lord and claiming all of this, okay? Because I think God's really trying to communicate uh, something to us. Uh, it'd be really awesome to have a really big storehouse. And you only need a really big storehouse if you're going to have a really big harvest. Deb clearly wants to say something. Well, I think it's really cool that um, the river officially started in a barn um, before the river was called the river. The building that we are in currently was called the barn, but we renamed it when we when we took it over full time. Um, but also, if you if you look at the picture, I mean we have uh, we have possession of the far right side. Uh, we are claiming this, which is currently available to buy and these three tracks which are currently available to buy um, we have already stepped on that land we have placed our feet there and we have claimed it um, now there are, some of us are claiming the whole plot and there have been um, multiple um, confirmations about this being ours which is really awesome and you know if anyone wants to hear those confirmations um, you welcome to ask us about them um, but I, I think this this has definitely been God 
in the midst of all of this. And this isn't just a, um, we got to physically build a building to bring in the harvest. It is important for us spiritually to be bringing in the harvest now. We need to bring in the harvest of ourselves first. Um, it's so imperative for us to seek God now and seek him like we've never sought him before. Um, so when we are in public, even now, like, you know, you have to go to the grocery store to get food. You can harvest now. You can, you can be six feet away from someone and still pray for them and tell them about Jesus. Um, now is the time. So I, I just thank you guys that we are in agreement that we are bringing this harvest in. Um, and we are, we are the harvest. It is us. It is our, um, our family members, our, our loved ones, our friends, um, people we don't know, but God knows. God knows us all by name. All right, guys, we just wanted to share those things with you and just say, uh, we love you. We're thinking about you. Pray that, uh, you all are blessed and, uh, just can't wait. Uh, to the next time that we uh, see you. And I can't wait until the time where we've got this uh, big barn. I mean, look, it's even got like a door right here. That's incredible. Yeah, and if you look right here, this is where the fire station is. Um, there's just so much cool things about this. And I know that other people, when they look at this, they're going to see so much more and God's going to show them more. And I miss you guys so much, just so you know. I really, you know, I'm very introverted, but man, I miss my River family. I really do. And I can't wait till we can get together and worship together again. I so look forward to that. All right, you guys, be blessed, be safe, and we'll talk to y'all down the road. Bye, guys. Love you in Jesus' name.